Do you have an upcoming presentation, but you're not sure about how much or how little to share? Well, today I'm going to share with you three things to consider when developing your content for a presentation. Stay tuned. Hi. I'm Summer Alexander from SummerAlexander.com and welcome to this week's edition of Simply Marketing where every week I share simple, actionable strategies to help you grow your small business. So if you've been listening to me for any amount of time, you know that I'm a big proponent of using speaking to grow your small business. So you've got the speaking engagement and you're ready to give your presentation but you're not sure about what content to include in the presentation. You want to make sure that you're sharing relevant, actionable strategies with your audience, but you don't want to overwhelm them and you certainly don't want to underwhelm them. So I'm going to share with you three things that you need to consider as you start to develop the content for your presentation. Let's dive in. Okay, so as you start to develop your content for your presentation, one of the very first things you want to do is have a conversation with the meeting planner, the event coordinator, the boss, whoever it is that brought you in to teach this workshop. What you're going to want to know from them is three things. So the first thing you want to know is what is the current knowledge level of the audience that you're going to be speaking to. Knowing how much they already know about the subject will help you to determine what you should include in your presentation. You're also going to want to know how long your presentation is. So if they want you to come in and do a 60 to 90 minute workshop, well that's different than giving a half day or full day presentation. You can obviously get more content into a longer day. And the third thing that you want to know is what they want the audience to be able to do based on the information that they learn from you. And then you can kind of work backwards and developing your content based on what the outcomes are and based on what they should be able to go do after they've listened to your presentation. So let's take a look at an example. Let's say that you were going to give a social media workshop. Well, depending on where your audience is, they may need a beginner's workshop where you just tell them a little bit of information about each platform or if they are an advanced group, then you may be diving deep into algorithms and pixels and retargeting on Facebook. Make sense? Okay, so the second thing you need to consider as you start to develop your content is, is this a recurring event? And if so, what has already been covered? So let's say you're speaking at an annual luncheon or an annual expo or conference. You're going to want to research the previous year's conference and look at the workshop topics, look at some of the experts who they brought in, look at some of the key bullet points that they listed on their workshop so that you already know what this audience has probably been exposed to. That way you can look for gaps that you can fill in. Looking back at our social media example, let's say you were going to give a presentation on how to grow your business with YouTube. Well, someone may have given that presentation last year, but they wouldn't have the new information that came out in January of this year where YouTube creators are now going to be limited in terms of monetization based on how many subscribers they have. So if you've got something new and fresh to bring to the topic, then it's okay to repeat some of that same topic from last year as long as you're putting your new spin on it. Again, you're always wanting to keep at the forefront of your mind, how is my audience going to use this information? What do I want them to be able to do as a result of my presentation? All right, so continuing with our social media example, let's say that you're giving this social media a workshop to a group of business owners. Well, some outcomes for them may be they need to be able to know how to engage with the social media followers and they need to be able to turn likes into paying customers. So the content that you would develop there would be leading them towards those outcomes. But let's say you were going to give a social media workshop to a corporation who had a small division and they needed their newest staff members trained on social media. Well, they may be using social media as a customer service portal for the business. So they would need to understand how to navigate complaints and customer questions based on the platform that they're using. All right, so the third thing you want to consider as you're developing your content is what opportunities exist. So after you've given this presentation, is there opportunity for you to come back into the organization and help them to implement 
what they've learned. If there is opportunity for you to help them implement, then you want to make sure your talk is laid out in a way that it is still providing relevant, valuable content, but that is also showcasing your expertise so that if they bring someone in to help them implement, the obvious first choice would be you. So back to our social media example. If you're giving the social media workshop and you let them know in order to turn likes into customers, you're going to need to dedicate at least 30 to 35 hours a week to updating your social media, developing content, and engaging with your fans and followers. But then the people in the room are like, whoa, <laughs> we already are overworked and we certainly don't have another 35 hours in a week to dedicate to this. What options do we have? Then that's when you get to speak up and say, well, actually you should outsource it because this is so critical to the growth of your company. It's not something that you can push to the side. You can hire a company like mine to help you implement the strategies that I've taught you today. Now there's different kind of approaches based on who you're speaking to. If you're speaking to a room full of decision makers, for example, like our business owners, then they're in a position to say, you know what, we'd like to bring you on as our social media manager. However, if you're speaking to a room full of staff members who really don't have any decision making power, then what you might want to do is set up a debriefing of your training with the person who hired you, whoever the boss is, whoever the event planner or meeting planner is. You want to sit down with them sometime after your presentation and just do a debriefing and say, based on what I shared with the group, based on the feedback that I got, here's my recommendations for what your next steps are and here's how I can help. Okay, so you've got your three considerations. You're going to interview the person who's bringing you in to speak so that you get an understanding of the knowledge level of your audience. You're going to research any past events or speakers who they brought in to speak on similar topics. And then you're also going to determine what opportunities may exist because you don't have to give them everything if there's a possibility that you could help them implement some of what you're teaching. If you still need additional help with implementing implementing speaking as a marketing strategy in your business. I'm excited. I have a brand new free training. It's actually a free masterclass. It's almost two hours long. I'm giving you everything I've used to implement speaking as a marketing strategy in my business. So I'm going to lay out for you my complete nine step system to grow your business with speaking. You can register for that training at www.speakuptraining.info. All right. That's it for this week's session. If you have found any value, I mean even a teeny, eeny, weeny bit of value from this video, please leave me a comment below, like this, share it with someone else who you know will benefit from it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube so you can be the first notified when I release new Simply Marketing sessions every Tuesday. Until next week, business blessings.